ashver.com Hello and welcome to ashver.com. You are watching an interesting video on multiple health benefits of sweet basil, sabja or tuchmeria seeds. Please read the disclaimer carefully. Latin name, Osimum basilicum. The basil plant is native to India and other tropical countries of Asia. The basil plant is also called sweet basil and is different from the holy basil plant which is the plant Osimum tenuiflorum also called Tulsi in India. Seeds of the sweet basil basil plant are called Sabja, Tuchmeria, Tuchmeria, Phleta, Salasa etc. in India. Sabja or Tuchmeria seeds are used in Ayurvedic and Siddha medicine in India as well as in Chinese medicine. Though both sabja or basil seeds look almost similar when they are in their gelatinous form, once they are soaked in water, both types of seeds swell and form a gelatinous mass, they are essentially different in many ways, some of these are. The sweet basil plant has over 150 cultivated varieties. One variety, the holy basil or Osimum sanctum, Osimum tenuiflorum is a much revered plant that is considered sacred and much used in religious ceremonies in India. Basil has been cultivated in Asia including India for over, for over 5,000 years. Sweet basil is an annual herbaceous plant, about 2 to 4 feet in height, has light green colored silky feel leaves that grow opposite each other. The flowers are white in color and born on a terminal spot. Sweet basil grows best in a hot and dry climate and is very cold sensitive. Though it prefers full sunlight it can be grown indoors in pots. The, le the leaves may wilt in full sunlight but they soon recover on watering. Excess watering may lead to yellowing of the leaves lower down on the stem. This yellowing can also occur due to lack or excess of fertilizer. The stems bearing the flower spikes can be pinched off if one needs the leaves or the foliage to keep as once the flower's mature foliage production stops on that stem and the stem turns woody. The flowers produce small, teardrop shaped jet black seeds. The seeds when soaked in water absorb water and swell to many times their original size with a gelatinous covering. They have a bland taste but are crunchy when chewed and provide a jelly-like interesting nutty feel and bite. Seeds of the sweet basil basil plant are called sabja or tuchmeria. Nutrients in basil Basil contains many polyphenolic flavonoids especially orientin and vicinin. These provide the antioxidant benefits. Brazil leaves are rich in many essential oils like eugenol, citronol, linol, limonene, citral and terpenol. The these provide antibacterial and anti-inflammatory benefits low in calories and free of cholesterol high levels of beta carotene leucine zeaxanthin vitamin a and vitamin k contains good amounts of minerals like potassium manganese copper calcium and magnesium and vitamins c and phthalates excellent source of iron at 40 percent rda per 100 nutrients in basil herb Health Benefits of Sabja, Basil or Tuchmeria Seeds Basil seeds have antioxidant, anti-cancer, antiviral, antibacterial, antimicrobial, antispasmodic, antiseptic, antifungal, carminative, galactagogue, stomachic properties. The carminative properties are useful in providing relief in a wide range of digestive issues like flatulence, stomach cramps, indigestion, digestion constipation etc. The antispasmodic property benefits in controlling and providing relief in whooping cough and also gives soothing effects. Also provides relief in respiratory problems like cold, cough, fluets. A mixture of basil leaves with honey and ginger is useful in treating bronchitis and asthma. The leaves can be added to water and boiled after grated ginger is added to it. After boiling for a couple of minutes, Take it off the heat, cool it for a while, add honey and drink for relief. 
sabja seeds have a kava calming effect on the brain. They relieve stress, tension, mental fatigue, depression and migraine. They also aid in enhancing the mood. The antibacterial properties benefit in the treatment of cuts, wounds, and infections of the skin. The seeds can be crushed and applied. The seeds help in reducing weight. Once the seeds are soaked in water they swell immensely and when this water along with the seeds is consumed before meals it fills one up thus preventing chances of overeating. The anti-inflammatory properties benefit by reducing inflammation, pain and swelling in arthritis, control formation of plaque in the arteries thereby reducing the risk of stroke and heart attacks. They also lower cholesterol. A glass of soaked sabja seeds when consumed prevents heartburn and also relieves a bloated stomach which results from incorrect eating habits. When this is taken at bedtime the basil seeds help to cleanse cleanse the, the body of toxins which are eliminated through the excellent bowel movements experienced in the morning. They also relieve food poisoning and its associated symptoms like nausea and vomiting. And also detoxifies and cleanses the blood. Basil seeds are cooling and reduce body heat. The seeds can be added to lemon sherbet, rose sherbet or falada or drunk on their own after soaking in water. The seeds have a diuretic action and flush the kidneys. Sabja seeds can delay menses. A TSP of sabja seeds soaked in 1 4th cup of yogurt soaked at night are to be taken first thing in the morning on empty stomach next morning. This will stop the bleeding. Basil seeds are rich in notch in iron and help to prevent and treat anemia. Chewing basil leaves also have the same effect. Chewing sabja or tecmaria seeds cure mouth ulcers and other infections of the mouth. They also help fight plaque and cavity. The antioxidants in basil seeds and leaves prevent free radical damage, reduce risk of cancer and degenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. Basil increases body immunity. The flavonoids vicinin orientin and beta carotene fortify the body's defense system. Basil oil has antibacterial properties. Mixing a few drops of oil in salad dressing kills the bacteria and makes food safer to eat. The flavonoids especially vicinin and orientin provide cellular protection, protect the chromosomes from radiation and free radical damage. Basil has been used in Chinese medicine for alleviating kidney problems, gum ulcers and as a hemostyptic, an agent that causes contraction of tissues and blood vessels and stops bleeding, in childbirth. It has also been used to treat eric, rheumatoid arthritis, skin conditions, anorexia, malaria and menstrual irregularities. Basil has been used to treat over 100 different conditions from fevers to acne to fungal infections in folk medicine. Precautions Pregnant women or those trying to conceive should not use basil since it lowers the levels of estrogen. Thank you for watching this interesting and informative video. This channel offers motivational, inspirational, valuable and informative videos to soothe, cleanse and inspire your health mind, body and spirit. You can find lot of interesting videos on wide range of topics here, stay tuned and keep watching.